Hello, and very happy to see you on our channel. Today we give you a piece of breaking news from People Magazine. The Queen has set boundaries for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. What are some boundaries Meghan Markle and Prince Harry make with the British royal family now? I don't think Meghan and Harry have any say in the matter. They walked and that's that. Harry said he was so sure he was doing the right thing, he said he didn't even need a year to think about it. But the Queen insisted. It is now up to the Queen and the rest of the royal family to initiate the boundaries, and Harry is being shown them all the time. No laying of a wreath on his behalf at the Cenotaph, for instance. Should he decide to return, again, he has overstepped the mark so often that it would be the Queen, Charles, and William who lay down the rules of his comeback. Harry has said had it not been for the pandemic, he'd have been home already. But that is easy to say. I wonder if he really means it. Will he return or, when March 31st comes around, will he decide he wants to be by Meghan's side when the denouement comes? The poor Didums needs his protection all of the time. Can't let him out of her sight. If he stays in the U.S., then the Queen, Charles, and William have every right to strip Harry of everything. Should he return, he could be bombastic, entitled, self-justifying, rude, opinionated, and alienate the family. Or he could be apologetic and ask for their understanding. Or a bit of both. Sadly, there is no court case to look forward to, and for which they would have had to come back to the UK. So now we wait, as winter ticks by, till rumblings emerge as to how the Sussex future will be assessed and carried out. None of the wreaths were laid in anyone's name. They were given to Royal Air Force, Royal Navy, and the Army. The royals that placed them just placed them, but they could actually be bothered to still work on their behalf and turn up. Prince Andrew, who is no longer classed senior royal, didn't lay a wreath either, and he also served in the Royal Navy and took part in the Falklands War as a helicopter pilot. This was not a celebrity event. It was a solemn and dignified service, honoring people that gave their lives in the service of our country. In Harry's little stunt, walking in somber black around an American war cemetery was crass and ridiculous, made a hundred times worse by taking along a flipping cameraman or woman. Plus, he could also have made a point of laying that wreath on Remembrance Day, which in Los Angeles this year was a rainy day. He made damn sure that he got those photos taken in the beautiful sunshine, likely earlier in the week. Clearly, some were tricked into thinking they were the same day. If he gave a toot about them, he'd have stayed and worked for the country they died for, and the veterans that lived but are disabled and broken in mind and body. But hey, that doesn't matter. If he had an ounce of class, he'd have remembered the fallen at home, like tens of thousands of veterans that, because of COVID, weren't allowed to do the march past, instead of making it all about flipping him. Why are Prince Harry and Meghan Markle being slammed for their visit to the Los Angeles National Cemetery? If a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it, did it make a sound? If Harry and Meghan wander into a military cemetery to pay respects to fallen soldiers on a day when the cemetery is closed and their private photographer isn't there, were they really there? They were slammed by making this a cynical promotional photo shoot and not a genuine paying of respect. To kill two reputations with one camera click, Meghan used the solemn occasion to model some clothes and shoes, which immediately appeared on the website, Meghan's Mirror, with eye-watering price tags. The wreath did not have poppies, which would be the tradition in the UK. They went on the UK Remembrance Sunday, not the 11th of November, Remembrance Day or Veterans Day in the US. So it looked like they specifically went on the day to coincide with the UK royal family commemoration. I guess it wouldn't do for Catherine to be photographed in her stylish outfit on Sunday and Meghan to have to wait until Wednesday to showcase her outfit. Poor Harry couldn't get a wreath laid in his personal capacity, so he and Meghan staged this ridiculous show. Even the photographer has taken down his account with the pics. What the heck were they thinking? that the staged wreath laying in American Cemetery prior to Remembrance Sunday with their own bought and paid for photographer was going to elicit sympathy? They are so far beyond the pale that please God they never reappear. 
They are absolute buffoons. A royal fan also said, if they had gone as private citizens, which is what they say they want to be, laid a wreath and paid their respects to the fallen, all well and good. Had a member of the public been there and taken a photo with a camera or a phone, all well and good too. But they went there so their photo could be taken by a professional. So they could then sell that photo to make more cash to fill their coffers. They considered it was perfectly okay to use the memory of death of thousands of servicemen and women to their own advantage. Shame on them. Why did the palace refuse Prince Harry's request to have a wreath laid on his behalf for Remembrance Sunday? Each and every member of the royal family, except the queen herself, is in military uniform at the cenotaph and lays their wreaths accordingly. The queen, the Duke of Edinburgh, and Prince Charles lay wreaths on their own behalf. Well, Prince Charles laid the queen's wreath and an equerry laid one for the Duke of Edinburgh, but Prince Charles laid his as the Prince of Wales. Edward laid one for the Royal Wessex Yeomanry and for women in the Royal Navy, the Duke of Kent, bless him, very formal and upright in spite of being 85 years old and survived a stroke, the Royal Scots Greys, and as president of the Commonwealth War Graves Commission. Out of the country, Harry no longer represents a military unit, so, as Prince Harry, it would have been totally inappropriate to lay a wreath on his behalf. But if he'd really wanted to be represented somewhere, why not send, unannounced of course, a personal wreath? to the war memorial as Great Brington near Athrop, where his mother is buried. Roll of Honor, Northamptonshire, Great Brington. That would have been really meaningful gesture and appreciated by many. Meghan Markle can't act anyway. Her best acting job was fooling Harry, the royal family, and England. She wanted privacy, which is a bull cause because she's always staging these phony photo shoots of her and her tag-along puppy husband like she's doing something special. If you want to do good things for people, then why have someone take pictures to plaster it all over the internet? Just do it, then go back to your house and have all the privacy you want. Recently, what does Meghan Markle do for a living? Her life and Harry's are one of discord and disharmony. They haven't gotten jobs. They see themselves as far too important to have a job. They scream and shout about wanting privacy, then make a public statement supporting one political party over another in the U.S. They didn't want to perform their royal duties, so took themselves off to the U.S. via Canada with no home to go to, no job to pay the rent, and demanding their privacy. Now they've got it. They don't want it. They want to be photographed. They need to be relevant. So they hire a photographer and drive miles to the nearest military cemetery and lay flowers from their garden and to have it photographed. Not Harry respecting the war dead, but telling everybody how horrible the royal family have been to Harry for not allowing his wreath to be laid at the cenotaph in London. Harry should have flown into London on one of his wife's mate's private jets and laid the wreath himself on Monday morning, when the city is still sleeping and then made his way back to the U.S. That's what him and his horrendous double-talking wife are demanding. Privacy. Well, it was there to be taken, but instead she showboated her husband and he went along with it. They are disgusting. Him for using the war dead of a country where he is a guest to score points of his own family. They're done and there should be no way back for hapless Harry and Markle, with no sparkle, should be refused a visa. How about you? What do you think of the Queen setting boundaries for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry? Please let us know in the comment section below and discuss them together. And as always, come back to our channel for all the latest news on the royal family, Meghan and Harry right here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.